welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be using this Newton's Nook set called Winston's Honeybees. This is their brand new 4x4 set as well as their brand new tag die. It comes with these two dies and I'll also be using the Echo Park Homegrown 6x6 paper pad. It's just got a really kind of farm fresh feel to it. So I've stamped out my images on these tags. I die cut the tags first and then I just line them up and stamped out my little scene here. And I'm going to start with coloring in my bees. And for them I'm using Y17, Y13, Y11. So I'm just laying in the Y17 first. Since they're real small I'm just going darkest to lightest. And then after I get to the Y11, I went back and added a little more of the Y17 and 13 because I felt that they got blended out a little too much. And I really wanted that strong contrast. So I'll just color all three bees exactly the same. And then I'm going to move on to their wings. And for that I'm using BG10 and BG70. BG70 has um, a lot more gray in it, so it just makes a really nice fade out from the BG10. I really like it for translucent type um, wings, for fairies or bees or any kind of thing like that. Next I'm moving on to the flowers. So I'm going to grab a scrap piece of the pattern paper that I'll be using just to kind of get an idea of the colors that I want to use for my flowers. I decided to start with R83, R85, and R89. So I'm just going to lay in the lightest color on two of the flowers and then kind of add in a little bit of shading there, quick, just kind of a backward C shape on the right hand side. And then I'll just go in with my darkest color for the shadow and then I'll just blend those out in the reverse. I wanted to have kind of a blue-violet flower, so I grabbed BV02, BV04, and BV08. And once again, just starting with my lightest color and working in that kind of a C shape, backward C shape, just laying that in and then blending that back out. I'm just going to do one of the flowers in this color. And then for my last two remaining flowers, I wanted them to be yellow, but I wanted them to be a different shade of yellow than the bees. So I used Y15, Y17, and then added in some YR16 just to um, turn it a little bit towards the orange. Um, it's still going to be mostly yellow, but it'll have that orange tone to it, um, especially on the right hand side there. For the leaves of the flowers, I grabbed G21, G24, and G28, and I just started with the G28 closest to the stem, and then blended that out with a little G24, and then finally with the G21, just making it really nice uh, contrast there. And then I just used those same three shades to flick in some grass from the bottom of each tag to really ground the scene. So one of my favorite quick and easy ways to add in some blue sky is to use distress inks. So I'm grabbing my tumbled glass mini distress ink cube here and I'm just going to use an ink blending foam to blend on some color. I'm going to leave some parts white so it kind of looks like a cloudy day. But um, I'm going to darken up all the areas around the edges and just add a little bit of color over top of each tag until I'm happy with the look. So once those are done, I can set them aside and move on to the assembly of the card. So I'm using that Echo Park Homegrown 6x6 like I showed you at the beginning. And part of the reason is because this print here has little bees all over it, so I thought that would go well with our images. So I'm just going to add that to my card base with some Tombow Mono Multi Glue. I just cut that down um, to be a quarter of an inch less than the card base so that I would have a little bit of the green border. And then I'm going to add this blue gingham piece over top. And it's going to give it that kind of country uh, vibe that I'm going for. And then I've got this piece here that's kind of a burlap print. 
and uh, it's cut from the top of the paper. It has a hole in the, in the center from the paper pad, but it doesn't matter because my middle tag is going to fit right over top of it. So I'm just lining those up to make sure I have the spacing right, and then I'll go ahead and start adhering them down. I've popped them up with some foam tape. And I'm going to start with the center one so that I can really um, space the two on either side correctly. I'm just double checking that, making any adjustments that I need to before I press it firmly into place. And then I'll just add my remaining tag there. For a final embellishment, I'm grabbing some May Arts Natural Button Twine. And I'm just going to tie three little bows in my hand. Um, just as you would knot your shoes and adjust those until they're the size that I want them. And then I'm just going to trim down the tails until they're the length that I think looks good. And I'm going to adhere them with some Ranger Multimedia Matte to the tags. So I just squeeze some on a piece of release paper from the foam tape and then I'm just dipping those knots into the glue and adhering them to the tag right um, above the little hole there so they look like they've been tied on. If you tie them on, um, it's really hard to get them straight, so just gluing them on after the fact gives you that look, but you um, don't have to worry about messing with them and trying to get them straight. And that's going to complete our card for today. I want to thank Newton's Nook for having me for their April guest designer. I had a lot of fun, and I want to thank all of you for watching. If you missed my last video, it's there for you on screen. Just go ahead and click the little video clip, and it'll take you right to it. Have a great day.